And uh, at the free throw line will be number two. That is Shorty Hudson. She is an 84% free throw shooter. And Shardé takes her first shot after a couple of bounces and spins the basketball. And she missed it. Good looking shot, just a little too strong, hit off the back of the iron and pop right out. Second shot coming right here. 16 14 the score, Southern on top by two at the 128 mark. Second shot, that one in. And coming in the ball game for the first time of the ball game, Alia Futno, 5'9 freshman from Fresno, Texas. Coming out of the ball game, number 25, Genovia Johnson, who has two fouls in the ball game here in this afternoon's game. All right, Chloe Fleming bringing the ball down the court. It's a one-point game, 16-15 to the 120 mark. Down to the other side is Fontenot, just came to the ball game. Back out here to Fleming. Fleming down low to number 44, Raven White. Back over to Fontenot on the other side. Can't do anything with it. Back on this side, let's see, has got it, is the number zero Don, Don, Diamond Hunter, if I can get it out right. Here's Chloe Fleming with the basketball. Tried, no, nope, thought about laying it up, but she, when you're going like that, either lay it up or, uh, you know, I mean, don't lay it up. I mean, she's trying to pass it down low, and it's just too many people down low. I don't know why a lot of players like to try to pass the ball down low when there's a million people down there. Here's a shot from the baseline, missed by the Lionettes, and Southern comes down with the basketball. Every every team does that, both the, both the men and women, and that's, no, that's going to be a charge. That's a big, major push-off right there by Hunter. And Southern is just racking up fouls one after another in this first uh, quarter. And I know what Coach Carlos Funch is going to tell his team, we got to clean this up. we got to clean this up right now. Because usually what happens is that the home team is the one that gets the benefit of the doubt, and the visiting team is the one that stacks up on the fouls. But... Right now, only two fouls for the Lions. That's it, two fouls. All right, here's a snap of the ball to the inbound. Pine Bluff for the basketball, 34 seconds left. They're down by one, 16, 15. Amani McWayne with a big steal. Monty McWayne on the baseline. Good job of Monty McWayne. Pass down low, and Raven White's going to be a reach-in foul call on number 23. That's Kadijah Brown for Pine Bluff. And that'll be only the third team foul for the Lions. And Southern will get the ball on their side of the basketball court. They'll get it underneath their own goal with 24.1 seconds remaining in the first quarter. That's uh, 4.1 seconds differential on the shot clock and the game clock. And Southern will inbound the basketball. 16-15 the score. They lead by one. And officials are talking right now. No. Oh, that's okay. Should be, I think it should be 20 second shot clock. So they're going to inbound it. And the referees are talking right now, and I don't understand what they're talking about. Here's the inbound. They're saying, okay, Southern gets a full 30, and the shot clock's only, uh, so it's off. And here's Aaliyah Futno back out to Chloe Fleming, 17 seconds. And Chloe had a wide open lane for a moment, but it was slapped away. And Southern's got it with 11 seconds. It's out on the court. Who is going to be? It's going to be Southern's basketball. Well, both of these teams are so scrappy, man. They are so scrappy right now. I think the officials messed up there. I think it was supposed to be a 20-second shot clock. And it was four seconds differential. It doesn't matter anyway now. It's 10.3 seconds remaining. Shot clock would be off anyway. Southern will keep the basketball inbound it right in front of the bench of Pine Bluff. And Leah Futno can't find anybody. Throws out to Amani McWayne with nine seconds. She takes the shot. Missed it. Good looking shot, though. Pine Bluff has a chance to get the final shot. With it is Green. Green with two seconds, one second, takes the shot, and I believe she was fouled. She was right before the buzzer with eight-tenths of a second remaining. So she is going to shoot two. They may come look at it and see, was it close to a three? I don't think it was. She was in, well, you know, it might have been. It might have been closer than we thought. Might have been a three-point shot, and I think they're going to look at it. The foul going to be on Chloe Fleming. And I think they're going to look at this because they want to see if it was, in fact, a three-point shot. 
We'll take a 30-second timeout right here back in a moment on the Southern University Radio Network. Second left, and going to the free throw line will be the Golden Lionettes. And at the line is Green. Green shoots, uh, shoots about 68% from the free throw line. First shot, missed it. That was way off. You can tell why she shoots 68%. It was not a good form at all. That ball kept going to the right. She'll get another shot out. It spins the basketball, and this one looks better, and just a little bit too hard bounces out, and that's the end of the first quarter of action. Time out of the ball game. It's 16-15. Southern on top by one point. Back after the 60-second timeout on the Southern University Radio Network. One needs a little playing time. Walk on Sports Bistro. It's Jagathon season. Jaguars stand united as you show your support by donating to Jaguar Athletics right now to March 25th, 2022. Call 225 771 3171 for more information. Stop by our ticket office to donate today. Jaguars everywhere. Connected to one nation. Go Jags. Scores right now. Southern University leads at 16 15 as we start the second quarter. Alabama State leading Prairie View 21 19 with 633 in that second quarter. Grambling has beaten Valley 76 to 61, and that's a final score. Jackson State also victorious today. They're six and zero in conference play now. They beat Bethune Cookman 82 49, and uh, canceled all corn in Florida A&M's canceled today. And Alabama A&M and Texas Southern will play at four o'clock. Southern University gets a two points basket there, and it's 18 15. Good shot right there by uh, number zero Diamond Hunter. And Southern on top by three. Matches are larger. Sleep of the ball game at 9.20 left to play here in the second quarter. In the first half here at the F.G. Clark Activity Center on the campus of Southern University. We've got a three-second violation called against number 54, Maya Pete. And so that'll be against Pine Bluff for the Golden Lionettes, and Southern will get the basketball. Southern on top, 18-15. Now I would say they've led most of the way. Chloe Fleming with the basketball, trying to look on this way to Futno, telling Futno to get down further down, and she does. Now on top to Diamond Hunter. Hunter with the basketball, looking down low for, nope, can't do anything with that. It was Raven White, now three-point shot way off the mark, and good a good rebound right there by number 22, Tanera Moore. Wraparound pass to Raven White. She goes up, she got tied up, and it'll be Southern, nope, it'll be Pine Bluff basketball because Southern inbound the basketball here to start the second quarter. So Pine Bluff gets it, and that was a good good trip down there for number 22, Tanera Moore, six-foot uh, senior from Baltimore, Maryland. She got a good rebound, wraparound pass down to number 44, Raven White, and Raven White was just tied up by Pete. Pete's 6'6 six, six for UAPB. Lionettes for the basketball. Here's a three-point shot on the baseline, and that's why we told you before the game they're not a good free uh, three-point shooting team. Out of bounds, it'll be... Pine Bluff will keep the basketball on eight. Nope, now they change it. It is going to go to Southern University. 
They changed it. The referee right underneath the goal called it for Pine Bluff, and then the referee on this side said, no, 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 it is Southern basketball. 8.29, and I've just been told it's the Lady Lions. It used to be called the Lionettes, uh, I guess, back in the early 2000s, and they have changed it. It's now just the Lady Lions. Thank you for that down there. Because we, I used to go to that gym and uh, and do that game, and that was a tough place to play. That's a tough place in Pine Bluff to play. Always cold at this time of the year, but, man, inside that gym was hot, and uh, they could play some good basketball in that gym at Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Steal by uh, the Lions, and here goes the Lady Lions with a basketball right here is Green. Green gives it on, on this side out to uh, Hudson. Hudson thinking about doing the three, but no, backs it off. Back out on the other side, out to uh, Busby. Now here's another three-point shot. This looks, looks good, and it looked good. Green just couldn't get that one to fall, though. That was a good-looking shot. Good form, everything. 18-15 the score with 7.40 left to play here in the second uh, quarter. Chloe Fleming with the basketball. Pass on out to Funtno. Funtno's going to take the shot. Got it! Three-point shot. Good three-point shot right there. It's 21-15. Seven on top, and their largest lead of the ball game at six. All right, uh, Pine Bluff with the basketball. Kennerson has it. Kennerson trying to drive. She's got an open lane, but just cut off immediately. Now back on the baseline, takes the. Or what they're going to call a foul on Southern. That's the first foul of the second quarter for Southern University, and that foul will be on Raven White. That's her second. Reach in foul called on Raven White. That's her second uh, foul of the ball game, and the first team foul here in the second quarter. But uh, Raven will come out of the ball game. And coming in the ball game is uh, Zalise Harrison, a 6'4 uh, freshman from Garland, Texas. And when she gets her legs underneath her, she's going to be a good basketball player. She's just tall. She's big. Here comes the first free throw shot in by Busby. As we told you, they're the number one shooting free throw team in the conference. The Lionette, the Golden Lions. I'm going to get that out. It, it takes a while to get that in there. Here's the second shot. Got it. Two for two on that one. It's 21-17. Back to a four-point game with 7-13 left to play in the second quarter. Here's the inbound. Southern with the basketball. And Chloe Fleming will walk it down the court and get some last-minute instructions from Coach Funches. Trying to drive. Can't do it. Now try doing everything she can on the other side. Fontenot's got it. Back out to Fleming. Fleming with the basketball now. Back on this side out to uh, Hunter. Hunter with the basketball, driving in, and tried to pass it down low. She had a shot she could took, and that's going to be a jump ball. That would be Southern's basketball. These players, they and men and women both do this. They, they, they try to be a good teammate. And I, look, I love them for that. They try to be the good teammate, but when you got a shot, she had that shot wide open, and if you're watching it on the JAG uh, on YouTube channel, you can see she had an open shot, but instead she tried to pass it down low where, where it was just too much people down there. And not only that, but the, the uh, Lady Jack was not waiting on it. She, she was not expecting that pass. So uh, coming out of the ballgame, Diamond Hunter. And into the ballgame back is uh, Kia, Nakia Kinsey, number five, six, uh, five, six senior from Clopton, Alabama. So Southern will get the ball underneath their own goal with a fresh 30 at 6.51 left to play. What's that? So it should be 6.52. Let's see if the refs are going to, uh, they're talking about something. And uh, and Chloe Fleming will inbound the basketball. And out to Kinsey's got the ball back on this side, out to Funtno. Out to Fleming again. Fleming back out to Funtno at the top. Funtno with the basketball with 6.43 left to play in the first half, 21-17 the score. Funtno guarded by Pete momentarily and a steal by Juhan. Juhan's going to easily lay it up and in. And it's 21-19, uh, two-point game with six and a half left to play. Here in the second quarter, UAPB and the Golden Lions taking on Southern University. The Lady Lions, we've been told, is a good basketball team. And look at it, they're, they're scrappy. That is a block right there by Green. She takes the basketball, goes coast to coast, missed it. Rebound coming down the front, no. Back out to Fleming. Now Southern's going to run it. And will bring it back out. Good job by Fleming to bring it out. Here's Funtno with a three-point shot. Oh, looking good, but just missed it. 
Rebound comes down to Tanara Moore, number 22, and Southern will get a fresh 20. Fleming with a basketball to the top, and she'll reset the offense. Hunter will come back in the ball game after a brief stint on the bench. Here's a two-point shot, missed by Tanara Moore. Rebound by Chloe Fleming, back out to Kensey. Kensey's three-point shot, nope. And rebound comes down to Big Pete. And they've got, I don't know what they called there. Why did they? Oh, an injury timeout. Oh, one of the Pine Bluff players, one of the uh, Lady Lions is down, looks like with a leg injury. And I, I didn't know why it was stopped. I didn't see it. But she's on the bench and she's getting looked at right now. So the Lions uh, have the basketball, 21-19, 5-26 left to play here in the first half, and it's going to be a turnover on the Golden Lions, the Lady Lions. So Southern will have the basketball, still two-point game, 21-19. They lead, 5-19 left to play here in the first half. With the basketball, Chloe Fleming trying to look. Diamond Hunter comes on this side. Got a brief uh, little rest on the, on the bench, and she's back out again. Here's Fleming from the free throw line. Jumper missed it. Good rebound. See that one? I'm telling you, put back up and missed right there by Harrison. And coming out with it is Tanera Moore. I love I tell you, the motor of Tanera Moore, she gets in there and she just fights. She don't care. Who's bigger than her? She's going to get in there and get it. And uh, the coach, uh, Dawn Thornton, wanted a travel there, but she didn't get it. And that's going to be a shot clock violation. Southern was not paying attention to the shot clock, and that's a shot clock violation. But I tell you, this defense from Pine Bluff, I mean, is just like Southern University. Time out of the ball game. It's 4.44 left to play here in the first half of action. Southern University 21 and the Lady Lions 19. Back after the 60-second timeout on the Southern University Radio Network. Welcome back to the F.T. Clark Activity Center on the campus of Southern University, the Avery Johnson Court right here at Southern University. Uh, still leading by the score of 21-19. They've led most of the way with 444 left to play. And um, the Lady Lions, uh, I, just a scrappy defensive basketball team, and I'm telling you, they mirror each other. I think they mirror each other. And that's why they're only a half a game apart. The Lady Lions are 4-2. and two. Southern is 4-1. and one. They're only just a half a game out of second place. And when you could play here in this uh, conference on the road, and now we've got a warning. There's going to be a, a delay of game against Southern University warning that they weren't ready to play, and uh, that's been a call here at the 443 mark. All right, so here we go. The Golden Lions with the basketball. With it is Hudson. Hudson on the other side out to uh, Kenderson. Kenderson trying to take it, but she got fouled. That's two shots coming right there. It's a shooting foul. Well, it's not a. That's a second team foul for Southern. And uh, let's see. That's uh, number 32, Harrison. Zalise Harrison, six foot four, freshman from Garland, Texas, at the line will be Kenderson. First shot rolls and goes. Joyce Kenderson comes in the ball game as a 67% free throw shooter. She missed that one. It just rimmed out. And it's a one-point game. 21-20 at the four-and-a-half-minute mark here in the second quarter. With the basketball is Southern. Hunter with the basket. Takes the shot. Nice shot by uh, Diamond Hunter. And Southern increases their lead down to three. 23-20 the score. 4.15 left to play here in the second quarter. Lady Lions with the basketball. Kenderson has it on the top. Down to the other side, out to Hudson. Hudson with the basketball, holding it tight. 
Now pass on out. It's a steal. It's just a turnover. And here is uh, an easy layup. Got it. Good shot by Nakia Kinsey. And Southern is increasingly the 5. 25-20 with 3.50 left to play here in the second quarter of action. And that's another turnover by the Lady Lions. And coming back in the ball game, number 44, Raven White. And also number 2, Alia Fundo. Fundo didn't have much of a break there either. Coming out of the ball game is Chloe Fleming. And also Harrison will come out of the ball game too, number 32. So here we go. Fontenot will be the point now. Yep, Fontenot will be the point. She'll run point. And uh, on the other side, now to Hunter. Back out to Fontenot. Bounce it over to Kinsey. Kinsey on this side, now on the wing. Looking around, got a good pick right there from a good block. And here's a three-point shot. In the three-pointer by Diamond Hunter. And uh, now Southern with their largest lead at 8, 28 to 20. Here's the shot down and uh, missed it. Rebound comes down. It's going to be a foul before the shot. And I believe it's on Amani McWayne, number 20. Oh, no, no, no. They're going to call an offensive foul against number five. That's uh, Shakina Rachel. And that is her first personal foul, the first team foul here in the second quarter for the Lions. 28-20 the score. 3-10 left to play here in the second quarter. With the basketball, it's Kinsey on this side of the wing. Pass on the other side to Funtno. In the corner, Hunter looking. Oh, wow, are you kidding me? Hunter just went through a, went through like it was a, a knife through hot butter. And a beautiful, beautiful way that that young player, sophomore from Baton Rouge, just went through everybody and got the layup. A diamond Hunter looks good. And Southern looks good as well. They've got now a 10-point lead. Their largest of the ball game, 30-20 to 20 with 2.57 left to play here in this second quarter. Well, don't forget, we've got a, another game coming up later this afternoon, about sometime between 5.30 and 6 o'clock. It'll be the men's team against Pine Bluff Golden Lions. Ought to be a fun, fun game. Any down could be the one that changes the game, so try the play where you go big on refreshment with all the taste and zero calories. Coke Zero. You don't know zero until you've tried it. Legendary import group at 10660 Corsi Boulevard. Distinctive honors for the legend and you. Call 225-960-1191 or visit our website, legendaryimportgroup.com and experience legendary care. Proud partner of Southern University. Injured? Call 344-7000. Attorney Tony Clayton, if you need something straight, call Attorney Tony Clayton. And now I believe we've got also now a warning against Pine Bluff. So both teams now have warnings against each other on the bench for delay of game. And it's called both by the same referee, too. So both teams have warnings for delay of game. Lady Lions with the basketball down by 10, 30 to 20 after the 30-second timeout called by Coach Thornton. And we've got a foul underneath the goal. And is it number 44, Raven White? If it is, that's her third, and it is. That's her third personal foul of the ball game. That's a third team foul for Southern. And... Pete's coming back to the ball game to make matters worse. And Coach Carlos Funches, I think, is going to keep her in the ball game now. That's a risky move. Nope, nope. he's taking her out. Coming in the ball game is number 21. That's uh, their third big tower. That's Tiona Lynch, 6'4 senior from, or 6'4 freshman, I should say, from El Paso, Texas. And Pine Bluff will inbound the basketball. And that's going to be a steal by Monty McWayne. Now a foul called. And I believe it's going to be on number five, and it will be. That's uh, Rachel, and second foul here in just a short period of time. That's the second team foul for the Lady Lions here in this second quarter. 30 to 20 the score, Southern still on top. Down to the other side to Kinsey. Kinsey in front of the Golden Lions bench. Down to this side to Futno. Back on this side out to Hunter. Hunter with the basketball, trying to get around, can't do it. Pass on back to Futno at the top. Down low, nope, try to get it down low, and too many people down there for Lynch to even get near it. And here's the pass, and almost thrown away, but the Lady Lions have it. Shot on the baseline, missed it, but a foul's going to be called on Amani McWayne, number 20, and that's Amani McWayne. They don't have her... They don't have her uh, number up on the scoreboard. And they didn't announce how many fouls she's got. Joyce Kennerson is at the free throw line. Shot in. 
They got all all the players got good forms when they're shooting from the free throw line from uh, the goal, the Lady Lions, and two for two on that one, and it shows. Eight point game now, thirty to twenty two. Southern on top with two thirteen. They've led most of the way. Fun over the basketball to Kenzie on this side. Kenzie looking around, gives it back on top to Hunter. Hunter down low this time out to Lynch. Lynch just turned around, shot a little bit too hard. The softball missed it. And just being intimidated down low by Pete, number 54, and I would too. So the Lady Lions with the basketball. Kenderson's got it on the top, and she's going to give it back out to Hudson. Hudson will run the point. Back over to Kenderson. Back over to uh, Hudson. And uh, down low to Pete. Pete's got it in. That's great play right there. Good, good feed, number 32, Stephanie Brown from Oakland, California. And uh, the Lady Lions on a 4-0 run, 30-24 to with one and a half left to playing in the second quarter. Here at the F.G. Clark Activity Center, Southern University with the lead by six. And Fundo cut off down this side to Kensey. And Kensey looking around, can't find anybody, looking for pick. Got one, but not where she could shoot. Now Futno with three to shoot, takes the shot, hits the rim, but rebound comes down to number 32 Brown. And right now they have a twin towers in a way. They got 32 Stephanie Brown, and they got 54 Maya Pete. Brown is uh, six foot, but she plays bigger than six foot. And then uh, Pete is six foot six. Here's a turnover, and Southern University, easy layup by Kensey. So it's back to an eight-point game now, 32-24, with 40 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And that's going to be a travel violation call number 32, Stephanie Brown. So the Lady Lions turn the ball over, and Southern will have it with seven seconds difference from the play clock to the shot clock. The game clock to the shot clock. 7.1 second difference. And Southern will... Take their time and try to milk as much off that clock as they possibly can. And they'll walk it down the court. See, I'm kind of shocked right here that the Lady Lions don't go into a full court press because they were very good at that full court press to start the basketball game. That gave Southern fits. You give anybody fits. And Southern hadn't did that full court press really yet. They, when they do it, they can do it. But, you know, Lady Lions threatened to, uh, looks like a pretty good running team. Here's Avadim going with an open shot on the baseline, missed it, rebound comes down to the Lions, and they've got three seconds. Pete's got it. Now here's a uh, shot and missed by number 32, Stephanie Brown, and we are at the half. Well, it's 32-24, so that on top by eight points here at the FG Clark Activity Center on the Avery Johnson Court. We are at the half, and coming up at the half, we'll break this game down, and we'll also uh, tell you some scores all across the SWAC in Lady Jaguar basketballs, uh, of course, and all the SWAC action here from the uh, this afternoon's games. We'll do that when we come back right here at the FG Clark Activity Center, back after this timeout on the Southern University Radio Network.
four is the score. It's an eight-point game. And right now, scores around the half. Uh, we've got Alabama State and Purdue A&M tied at 29 at this point in time. Uh, as we mentioned, Southern leads by eight points. It's 32-24, the score here at the half. Grambling leads uh, Mississippi Valley State 76-61. Jackson State leads, uh, in fact, it's a final score. Bethune-Cookman 82-49. That game, Grambling also has gone final as well. And then uh, Alcorn State and Florida A&M has been canceled. Uh, I'm assuming to, due to COVID, and then uh, later this afternoon, it'll be Alabama a and and Texas Southern playing at 4 p.m. Don't forget, uh, later, later, today, later today, the uh, men's team will go on. Now, top 25 action around the uh, nation right now. Not many games played on Saturdays. Most of them played on Sundays. But anyway, going on today with two seconds left in the uh, second quarter, it's number 17, BYU leading San Diego, 36-32, the score right now. Number 15, Lady Longhorns uh, are be have beaten TCU 68-47, the final score. And a final score also from uh, Jacksonville. It was number 24, Florida Gulf Coast Eagles 66, and Jacksonville State Gamecocks 44. That is a final score. Our score at the half, 32-24. Southern on top here at the FG Clark Activity Center on the Avery Johnson Court. Back after this timeout right here on the Southern University Radio Network. This is Reverend Gil Wright of the New Light Baptist Church, 650 Blunt Road. Our broadcast is Sunday 1 to 2 p.m. on WXOK. Join us every Sunday for Sunday School at 9.30 a.m. Worship at 11 a.m. Bible study at 7 p.m. Brandon Holly here. Does your HOA require wood windows? Reliefwindows.com. North Shore Clinical Labs at 2618 Wooddale Boulevard is offering free COVID testing to everyone. PCR and rapid available. No insurance needed. North Shore Clinical Labs. Open seven days a week.